we've asked for some questions as well. You've texted those in. Uh, we've jumped on the Facebook page as well. Uh, and Tane, I think we've got him uh, on the line. Uh, Tane, uh, welcome into the show. Oh, hey, boys. How's it going? Very good, good man. brother. Good. Hey, hey, I know it's your uh, your day off today, man. So really appreciate this, bro. Legend. Uh, it's, nah, not my day off. We just got home, actually. Oh, you just got home. No oh. days off. Doubling that's, down. That's Doubling what I like down. to hear, mate. The preparation. No, yeah, I was going to say no days off. For, no for days pain, off. Mate. The preparation he's, he's is on. on. The tools. For the for the the torn the tornado, the, the tornado, <laughs> the volcano. <laughs> we don't have a nickname for you yet, but um, we'll throw those two in the rubbish because yeah, that's like. trash. And we'll, um, <laughs> we'll think of a good one, mate. Um, mate, couple of questions. Couple of questions. First of all, um, hundred and forty-two kick return meters as a uh, the most in the NRL last week. Oh. Well done, man. It was um, it's awesome to watch you watch you when you do bring that ball back. Every time I noticed, um, you know, the kicking into the corners. You know, you're bringing it out. You'd have, you know, four or five people trying to jam you in there. And every time you seem to break the first tackle or, you know, spin out, find some space. My question for you is what are you looking for on those on those kick returns? Yeah. wouldn't say every time, bro, because eh? oh, my body's had so I was getting pumped. But um, I don't know. Webby sort of gave me a bit of a license, eh, just to roam around and just annoy as many people as I can. That's what he's that's what he says that anyways. Um so when I bounce around I just sort of look for space, eh? But sometimes as you as you probably see, the space isn't always the right option and they end up smoking me backwards. But the boys do get a, a bit annoyed at me sometimes. But that's when when that happens, you know you watch me the next one, that's when I take my medicine and just run straight at the big fella but <laughs> Yeah, it's almost it's almost inevitable. Sometimes you uh you just got to take the knocks. But um, have, have you ever considered, or you know, has it ever been proposed, um, you know, coming off the bench? I know you came off the bench a couple of times last year, but playing like that fourteen position where you see it, you see it sometimes. Or they have uh, you know, I remember Nuffy Siluini, you know, former warrior. He, he was a winger turned, you know, into this running hooker. Um, you know, they've done it with Kalen Ponga in the Origin a couple of times. Would you ever consider yeah. coming off and playing as like a, you know, just like a running hooker or a lock and just bringing that spark to the middle? Mm. Bro, um, I'd, I'll play as much games as I can get, eh? Um, I'm not too sure what position because being in the middle of that, I'd be an easy target, bro. Everyone would know, just wait till Tane gets on and that's just run at me. So, 60 but, tackles, um, Tane. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many of them I'd make. But um, I don't know because my... Favorite game last year was that one when I came on as 18th man. Oh, uh, yes. Preparation into it where Chance got injured at like the 20th minute. I don't know. I sort of just enjoyed coming on around that time because you could see that obviously me being a smaller, smaller, shorter bloke, they were used to tackling Chance when he on his kick returns and everything. And then mm. when I came on a little bit later, just because when you get in the flow, you get used to tackling like, certain body shapes and body sizes so when I came on off the bench it just it did make it a bit easier eh? so I don't know what position I would play but anything yeah. would be would give me on taking eh? yeah see that's an interesting answer because if I was to ask that to maybe you know Chance if I said to him mate would you consider he'd probably say no I want to play <laughs> number one that's my position do you think there is um, you know because those guys are your senior are you learning a lot from these guys? And do you see yourself in the next few years being a guy that says, right, I'm the fullback and that's the end of the conversation? Um, I actually say that to Chance every morning. No, but um, no, oh, I don't know. It's probably the easygoing thing that like, I actually had a conversation with Chance today about like, because he does give me reminders that I need to be a little bit more like, I don't know what it is. I'm just too easy going eh that I just sort of do whatever I'm told and I need to put my foot down sometimes so that's that's probably a work on for me to just get a bit of that grunt in me Mm. Mm. Mate, it was really interesting um, just hearing you talk about that um, playing that 18th man role and obviously that's something that's been introduced to the NRL over the last couple of years just tell us like what the mindset is if you can cast your mind back to that as an 18th man, like, was there any part of you that thought that goes into a game like that going, oh, you know, I could get a chance here, I've got to be ready? Or are you literally just like, I'm 18th man, I'm probably not going to get on, so I sort of put my feet out. How did you sort of approach it when you were that 18th man? Bro, it's tough, eh? Like, you're watching all, like, because obviously me being a back, every single time one of the backs carried, obviously the way that mask, Dow, and even Chance returned the ball, it's like, oh, 
makes me nervous because their heads get smoked and like it keeps me on the edge of my seat so I'm definitely like I'm not relaxing on there it's probably more stressful than playing if I'm being honest because yeah. I know that I've got to get ready if the opportunity comes and then if I don't I just know I'm going to get touched up the next morning pretty early too so it is it is pretty hard mentally but Webby had a conversation with me I think I got to like 11 18th man last year and towards the end of it because it came between like playing in the cup finals or just being on 18th man mm. and um, in the grade side. And he just sort of said that, would you rather like potentially play in a NRL game or play cup? And those are the times when you got to like just reality check and just be like, yeah, I'm, ha- I'm happy to be where I am right now. Like you're in the conversations, you're in the, like the fringe. So nah, I'm probably, I, I enjoy the 18th man as much as it is hard, I do enjoy it. Well, yeah, because it must be, you know, difficult, I guess, preparation-wise, right? Because, yeah, you, there's no guarantee you're going to get out there, but you do have to prepare during the week as if you're going to get out there. So, yeah, just mm. it was interesting, I guess, just hearing the, the yeah, mental yeah. side of things well, for you. That 11, well, actually, 11 yeah, 18 yeah. mans as well. 11, 18 mans, that's, um, that's some Anthony Gulling numbers, mate. You might be touch, <laughs> you might be coming for my record there. I think I was 16 in the uh, 16, 18th 16, man, mate. Bro, I've, I've been telling everyone I've got the record, so yeah. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, hotel buffets. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't hiding from them as 18th man. Um, <laughs> so, I think it was about five games in. I thought, you know what, I'm not wasting these opportunities. Sean, X, for that Titans game, the one that I did get on, bro. I was so serious in my 18th man prep. Every one that I done, and I think that Titans game was probably seven in. Yeah. And like, we were about to leave to go to to go to the game, and then I just loaded up a big fat plate of um, <laughs> bowls. And Sean, like, proper was just giving me the eyes, and he came over and he sprayed me. He goes, what are you doing? And then I was like, oh, bro, I'm playing tomorrow. I'm not playing tonight. <laughs> and then Sean, like, proper sprayed me and said, bro, you need to get ready like you're playing tonight. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then I was like, I won't come on anyway. And then when as soon as I came running on the field, bro, Sean let me know, eh? And he said it again in the meeting the next morning, and Webby pulled me up saying, mate, I need you to prep properly. I was like, oh, yeah. Did you tell him, Webby, I'm carved up to the eyeballs, man. I've just had 12 kilos of pasta. I'm good to go. <laughs> I just tell Cups, the head, and the head oh, strength and conditioner, that I'm just trying to make my weight. Too much hassle. <laughs> trying to be heavy. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> the, um, the transition, mate, from... Uh, cut to first grade and, and we asked uh, we, we told uh, the listeners that you were going to come on with us and, and we got a couple of questions and a few of them revolving around I guess just that step up for you and maybe in that first game where you did get a run out a run out into your first taste of first grade you know what was what was I guess the biggest shock to the system for you the biggest challenge bro it was actually probably um how loud it is eh? like that was my first home game because mm. of the games I played last year but I played one in Hamilton but it was my first game at Mount Smart and bro, it was so hard to communicate. Like, I love it. Mm. But that was something that I didn't expect. Eh? And like when Sean was telling me some calls, I just obviously wasn't used to the like how loud it was because I was asking them to repeat himself and he wasn't too happy with that. And that probably showed just a bit on how I was a bit clunky because it was, I would say like the tax side of things, I, I was a little bit clunky and not, not up to scratch and... It was something that, I, that I'm working on to iron out for this week. But round one, bro, it was probably just the fitness, eh? Holy, I was hanging out. And I think all the boys would say that because my body's still sore now, bro. It's mm. so tough. Just um, mentioning that, that communication, who, what does it look like? So if things aren't working on attack, you know, we saw in the weekend, um, you know, had a few shots, you know, there's a, a lot of drop balls and a, a, like clunky, as you said. Who is it that makes the adjustments, um, you know, mm. as, as the game goes on? Um, I think it's... All of us as a whole, um, sh- lucky we've got people like Sean and Toy who are just real smart and can can do it on the run. Where people like myself, a bit inexperienced, I probably it's a work on for me. Um, just reacting to the things that we see and not the things that we prep for during the week, and it's something that Webby speaks to me, and it's a work on for me. So, like in saying that. Um, I'm not too sure. Like that's probably where I just tuck the ball and start running. But at the, I don't know if that's the best thing for the team. So that's all I'm really trying to work on eh, is just on the run and like communicating with Sean and just sort of adjusting, adjusting on the run. That's what I'd say. I'm still trying to work on. Mm. How much are you? 
I guess, getting info-wise from, you know, Chance, Roger, of course, being there as well as a former number one, and even guys like Shawnee and that who have been around for so long. How much info are you sort of getting from them and how much are you just learning from them, being in and around them week to week? Oh, bro, heaps. Like, having Rog and Chance there is massive for me. Even, like, um, bro, Webby's even massive. Like, he's probably the smartest out of everyone at the club. And I definitely, like, use Chance and Rog as much as I can. They've, they help me out so much, probably to an extent where I'm probably annoying them and Webby's got to tell me to back off a little bit because I try and just ask too many questions and then I end up probably just confusing myself. <laughs> So it's, it's probably a work on for me, bro. As much as I'm trying to pick up as much information as they're trying to give me, I still need to remember that I'm trying to play my game as well mm. and what suits me. Yeah. And, and, and another question that came up, mate, from the, from the listeners, which ties into that a little bit, is um, people want to know, is, is there someone, you know, you growing up, you sort of idolised a player that you maybe sort of model your game around that you used to watch and go, man, you know, that's, that's how I want to play? Bro, it was definitely... Oh, I was Benji Marshall as a, as a young kid coming up because I was a half all the way through to about, I was 2019, I think. It was the year, last year I stopped playing in the half. So was that when you were still I at Burley? Half, pardon? Was that when you were still at Burley? Yeah, I was playing at Burley. I was, I've always wanted to play fullback, but I sort of came through the same time as Jaden Campbell, the Titans fullback, and he was just always my fullback, so I never really got the opportunity there. And then, once he started to take off, that's when I got to drop back and then play out the back there. So it was um, Benji growing up, but then also I was a big fan of Billy Slater, just as repeat efforts, eh? like how hard he worked. Bro, that was obviously fitness is something that I need to improve on. And I still watch like clips of him now and probably like watch James Tedesco a lot as well, eh? just how, how hard they work off the ball. And that's sort of what I try and add into my game. Would Would you consider going back into the halves at any stage? Or are you pretty happy now in the one? Um, I'm happy where I am in the one jersey. But like, honestly, if Webby told me I was playing six this weekend, I'd just I'd invest everything into that. So hmm. whatever I get told, bro, I'm just I'm just happy to do it at the moment. There. Yeah, well, it's um, it's been great watching you play fullback and if um, you know, talking about player comparisons, you kind of remind me of uh, maybe a mouldy Matt Bowen. Nobody Matt Bowen, so that's um, probably like a kept lock then, eh? That's what I always take the <laughs> Mate, that's chalk and cheese right there. Um, <laughs> Dan, I appreciate, I really appreciate your uh, your time today, mate. Um, good luck for this weekend. You know, it was, it was great watching you play last weekend. We're, we're pumped to watch you go against Melbourne this week. Sweet, bro. Thank you. Thanks, boys. Tane Tuopiki there, uh, the Warriors fullback. Join us. Great to have him on. Man, he's a character. What a, what a lovely young man. What a great man. Yeah. Did, did you take him under your wing? Did you, is that where this all comes from? It's, uh, it's an Anthony Galling project. Yeah. I'll take everyone <laughs> under my wing, mate. I'm sure. I'm sure. Particularly with the buffets. Follow old Rafiki. He knows the way. <laughs> ECNZ. It's Kiwi for sport.